Well, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce this year's staff member of the year. As always, we had several great nominations this year. Thank you all for your diligence and hard work, and thank you to all the individuals who nominated these great staff members. It's always great to recognize other people's efforts. The individual who nominated this year's Staff Member of the Year describes the nominee as someone who is very self-directed, focused, and diligent. This individual is also described as an excellent communicator and exemplifies all characteristics of a servant leader. This individual is very knowledgeable in their field and has been invited to conduct trainings and presentations at several conferences at the local, state, and federal level. She is someone students at Weatherford and the schools she serves can trust and rely on for guidance and assistance. This individual loves to encourage and cheer others on. She understands that people need to be reminded they make a difference. She is someone who readily seeks out opportunities to develop and better equip herself with knowledge and skills that make her a better person and employee. This individual interacts well with others and extends warm kindness even to strangers. And I'm not sure she knows a stranger. Now that was all from the individual who nominated this year's Staff Member of the Year. And knowing this individual, as I commandeered her office this fall, I think the best adjective to describe her is enthusiastic. For the past several years, she has led a successful talent search program and now serves as the Director of Student Resources. Dr. Deborah Kreger, congratulations. A very pleasant good evening to everyone. I am very excited, very elated, and very grateful to each and every one of you here. Um, because of you, I am receiving this award. The truth is, as someone once said, a very wise person, he said that together we are a group of imperfect human beings. Bound by, the common purpose, bound by the common purpose of making this world an even better place. I love this quote very much. It resonates with me because this is what we are. Individually, we just cannot achieve so much by ourselves. But when we work together, we achieve so much. Just today, yesterday, Kay called me and said a student was in need. Um, homeless, sleeping in a car, and everything like that. And we, as a group, I immediately sent out a group email and I said, look, we need, to, we need to help the student be safe and find a home before Christmas. And just like that, we started working on it. And uh, it's in the making, but I assure you, she will find somewhere before Christmas this year. We'll make that happen as a group. But basically, I just want to applaud everyone again for believing in this cause, education. When I first started to work at Weatherford College, it was one of the happiest time of my life because education always meant a whole lot to me. Um, my parents did not complete middle school level, and it was people, so many, many people, who helped me along the way to be where I am today. And coming from where I come from, a third world country, a village with no paved roads, 
and no indo plumbing you know what my situation changed as you, you know because of education and as dr farmer says the weatherford college is about education and it changes life so together we are making this happen together we are changing life and again remember in public as we may be we are doing this together Thank you all so very, very much and have a very Merry Christmas.